Hello, my name is Miranda Hansen, and I'm here with the Digital Makerspace to introduce a new project. It is a new year, and everybody's back to work from the holidays, so it's a good time to address what's on everybody's mind. Do it yourself, launching tentacles. Perhaps you're looking for a way to spice up the office for 2016, or maybe you're just tired of Carol from accounting's nonsense. Regardless of your questionably ethical motives, however, this is the project for you. The design is simple. First, you have to build yourself a tentacle. They come in two different sizes, depending on the size of your zip ties, and the instructables can be found here. The device then utilizes the chipkit WF32, a small servo, and an ultrasonic rangefinder to detect the proximity of objects or people, and when something gets too close, it strikes. Other components of the project include one Zuno clip to hold the tentacle in place, in addition to a mouse trap because it provides an adequate amount of liftoff. To weigh it down and provide a stable base, I am using a V8 vegetable juice can that I just happen to own due to a failed New Year's resolution. The way that the release system works is the servo is instructed to move when the rangefinder detects motion, and the little arm of the servo is latched onto the zip ties. When the servo is activated and lifts up here to release the zip ties, you get a nice strong catapult effect. In addition to being a charming way to show your affection, or lack thereof, the do-it-yourself tentacle launchpad also makes an excellent security system. Also, if you happen to still be doing makeup Christmas present shopping, it makes a superb homemade gift, as there is a relatively low chance of the individual already owning it. However, despite its cute and cuddly nature, I would recommend not getting too attached to your do-it-yourself lunging tentacle. For some odd reason, people have this weird tendency to kick, slap, or otherwise strike the poor thing, and it can be absolutely heartbreaking when it sustains damage. Aside from mini tentacles, we also have some additional launchable options, such as office snowballs. Bring the beauty of snowfall right into the sides of your unsuspecting coworkers. And since Valentine's Day is just around the corner, we have some even more heartfelt projectile options, such as kamikaze kisses, because nothing says I love you like being bombarded with small blunt objects. They say that love is spontaneous, but so is this device, neither digital nor I take any responsibility for random functions or any other casualties that may occur as part of the danger apparently associated with the machine that randomly launches projectiles. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm slowing it down when I read for you usually. <laughs>